Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Celestial Crystal Dragon Nation of our Divine 144. Happy 1111 Activation Gateway. Today is the final and most powerful 1111 Gateway of 2023. We are entering the zero point of the quantum field through today's magnificent portal opening. The pearl gates of heaven have been flung open, offering all starseed earth angelics to step over the threshold into the new life of heaven upon earth. The eagle and the condor are calling in our freedom codes. We are anchoring in the abundance timeline and holding the vision of our kin's domains. The crystal palace in the center of the brain is being turned up in frequency as we bridge heaven and earth through our sacred heart centers. Everything is coming into the harmonic convergence of all space-time continuums into the one true now manifestation of eternal life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul Whitegold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree of liberation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And we continue now with divine sister of the light Judith Kusel. Huge inpouring of the most beautiful cosmic energy as we are returning to oneness in so many ways most are not even conscious of. And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, we are transforming our bodies from carbon based to crystalline based as we transition to divine solar light beings. Everything is going to change. Within Divine Love and Light of One, Pars Kute. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Catherine Ray, Lyran Syrian Council, 007, Full Reboot, Consciousness Reboot, Newborn Twins Have Returned to Awareness, All the Children Return to Their Mother's Arms, Embrace, Cradle of Life, New Start, 638, 1838. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Aura, 444, Magnetic fields are aligning from the galactic center to the sun and the core of this planet. I mentioned the core charging the other day and its magnifying light and magma. This can feel wobbly, off-balanced, as we are connected to this planet and God through a silver cord. Archons formerly reversed the poles and did frequency nets to prevent this type of activation. Victory of the light as the false matrix is disintegrating, allowing clarity, oneness, and harmony. Clear all illusions from the phantom matrix and really ascend yourself. Negative thoughts are programs running from an imposter spirit or artificially. Thankful, the frequencies will glitch technology. Humanity, you are the most important species. It's important we rise individually and together as we are. Keep it going as your magnetic signature that comes from your soul through your heart is a powerful force. Give yourself love, grace, and strength, balancing your energy. Ascension symptoms, headaches from attunement on pineal and pituitary, as well as the electrical circuit of the nervous system. Rest for integration, heart palpitations as your heart is your magnetic field. Breath work slowly, magnesium oil or powder, cayenne pepper on fruit or water. Stay hydrated, centered in the now, and harmonizing. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 1129.23 It is divine breath and timing that opens the rosebud changes tadpoles into frogs, and transforms caterpillars into butterflies. This infinite power is what gave you the strength, insight, and vision this year to morph from old you into new you. Today is a double eleven, 
the master number of seers, healers, and higher consciousness. It is the realm of the unfathomable, which is why we must go forth now on faith, yet armed with the wisdom that this year's experiences have given us. You have been held in a sacred embrace this year while you stretched, struggled, and grew. But after today, you venture out into a new world. You are absolutely still wrapped in love, but it's up to you now to choose your course. Do not forget what it took to get here, but also do not let it slow you down. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Amisha Alamida, the Cosmic Awakening. In other dimensions there are hierarchies, but without ego and without judgment. In the other dimensions there is work, study, and purpose, but no tension. Good, loving relationships exist in other dimensions, but with all due respect. There are things, but without attachment. Life in other dimensions is like here, but follow the divine rules. Do not manipulate others for your own benefit, no harm to others. They do not respect anyone. There is no judgment. Want to go to another dimension to find these virtues? So start vibrating those virtues. And today from Divine Sis Starved Light Jennifer Catron. What a wild ride the past week has been. So much playing out. The rapid dissolving of inorganic timelines continues. The field literally exploding. Galactic frequencies prepping the vessel for what's looking like the most catalytic gateway yet. 1212 portal open Saturday night. I've had so many asking what is going on. Fast track has been an understatement. The peace agreement between the tribes is still anchoring. Council has been directly involved in consistently reviewing all. Amendments to what's considered obstruction of free will, law of one, karmic board overseeing everything. So much clearing from the collective Akash. So much density purging from the grids, especially inner earth. Next harmonic universe beginning to present in the physical. Aside from decoding the new frequency, a big indicator is when many of the souls you encounter resemble people from previous realities and timelines. This is the next dimension, Monad presenting. So many activations lately, 737 coming in. The vessel needing extra assistance to integrate and recover. Galactic embodiment, activating oversoul manifestation, angelic blueprints. Roles totally dissolving, missions being released, infiltration cleanup continues as the changing of the guard is still in flux. So many role rearrangements, exits, as well as completely different trajectory jumps than one had planned or expected. Plot twists. Downloads all day, every day now. Soul partnerships being established, anchoring in the alchemy of the third energy. Co-creative abilities. The craziness has been otherworldly. Even those in 3D commenting on the feeling of inorganic creation. So many inversions and false overlays rapidly dissolving with awareness alone. Those that have been looping, especially jumping off the karmic timeline. Interdimensional realities, feeling not real. Parallels merging with the present to choose or to collapse. So much healing for the feminine and masculine, karmics and ancestral timelines and records. Each day filled with a knowing that all are moving towards a huge jump as well as destiny creations. 12-12, full circle vibes, no doubt. Happy quantum love jumping. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Michael Love. Earth Alliance Space Weather Update, CME from Near X-Class Solar Flare Inbound. The Earth Alliance reports that approximately 24 hours ago, a Near X-Class Super Flare erupted from the Sun's Corona, and its associated CME is currently heading directly towards Earth. On November 28th, at approximately 1950 UTC, Sunspot AR3500 exhibited a remarkable event, producing an M9.8 class solar flare. 
This flare was just shy of reaching the X category, marking it as an exceptionally powerful solar event. The flare's impact was immediately felt as it caused a communications blackout across the South Pacific Ocean and parts of the Americas. Earth starseeds also noticed the impact on their human body vessels and ascension symptom reports are elevated this evening. The flare was massive, but even more so. The associated coronal mass ejection, CME, propelled by the explosion, is on a direct course toward Earth. Space weather agencies say a super halo debris cloud is expanding towards us at a staggering speed, exceeding 800 kilometers a second, approximately 1.8 million miles per hour, and it's gonna hit hard. Compounding this situation are several other significant CMEs that were launched from the sun around the same time and are also inbound. The largest of these CMEs may potentially interact with these earlier CMEs, resulting in the formation of a cannibal CME, a phenomenon that can trigger particularly intense geomagnetic storms. Large CMEs like this can cause quite a jar to the human body system especially for those with heightened sensitivity to cosmic energy. So be sure to eat light natural energy foods, drink lots of pure water. It's essential to slow down and take it easy when these powerful light influxes occur. Spend time in nature to ground yourself, meditate for an hour, and keep crystals nearby to channel the energy through your body and into the earth. Unprecedented amounts of cosmic and solar energy are currently flooding the earth, catalyzing a significant shift in humanity towards a higher harmonic universe as part of the grand ascension process. The Earth Alliance is closely monitoring the situation, and current estimates suggest the CME could reach Earth around November 30th and December 1st. A major space weather watch is in effect for these dates, so stand by and brace for super light. Stay tuned for further updates as we continue to track this dynamic space weather event. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James. We may have four CMEs coming at us. A CME is an immense cloud of magnetized particles. We had a series of explosions on the sun this week. These four CMEs may turn into a cannibal CME. A cannibal coronal mass ejection is when one smaller CME is overtaken and engulfed by a larger, faster-moving CME, consuming and combining the two plumes of solar plasma and radiation. We are headed into some intense geomagnetic storms over the next few days. Expect solar flares, too. Let's just say the sun is kicking a lot of energy at us right now, Let's just say Sagittarius season is bringing the fire energy. The galactic center of our galaxy is located in Sagittarius. The galactic center is a supermassive black hole. The sun comes into a yearly alignment with the galactic center on December 18th. We are receiving a lot of galactic energies over the next 48 hours. Expect a huge influx of energies. Expect lots of healing, activations, heightened manifesting, and miracles. Sagittarius season is all about the upgrades we will receive and aiming that arrow higher towards your goals. Today we have Venus aligning with the south node of destiny in Libra. This may be having many feeling tired. It also is bringing negative aspects around love up for healing. Expect a lot of healing to be coming up around your love life. This is a huge alignment and is helping you to clear patterns or habits that no longer serve you. From SparksOfDivineLightHealing.com 144 Flowing In And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Ex-Solar Flare into the December Energies Dear friends, our sun has recently created an amazing solar flare and its energy will reach our planet probably in the next 48 hours. 
This strong solar flare almost reached an X classification. It was classified as an M9.8 flare. These subatomic particles will be creating a geomagnetic storm and eventually will be interacting with our own fields as they reach the atmosphere in the next days. The December energies are coming in loudly. We are currently undergoing a transitional period, leaving behind the energies of an 11 month and moving into a 12 month, a period filled with Trinity codes. This recent X solar flare and its associated solar wind will be giving us a final energetic push to clear away the last energetic debris from November. The December energies will reach their maximum on the 1212 portal, but as always, the whole month of December is an energy-packed period, since it is also the last month of this intense year of transformations. The Trinity Codes, Body, Mind, Spirit that will be highlighted during December will bring us closer to our Divine Essence and its expression on our Earth Plane. Those of you who are energy sensitive may be experiencing some physical symptoms the next few days, a sense of disorientation and uncertainty, and mild anxiety may also be present. Please listen to your body and rest as needed. Take care of yourself as we enter into this last month of 2023. The empowering energies of the year 2024 are also slowly but surely approaching. So be mindful of this huge energetic vortex we are all moving into as we say goodbye to 2023. Stay tuned for more energy updates as we move into the exciting month of December. Have a wonderful day and much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com From Divine Sister of the Light Angelique M. Larson Beloved Earth Family, We are all feeling so much with the elevated ascension frequencies, the pure light plasma white light that has been shifting the foundations of all that we once thought of as truth. We are all learning, growing, and evolving at an unprecedented pace. With each sacred breath and sacred step, as we return to the purity of our true essence within, we tune into the vastness of the Adam Kadman, which is the pure divine light without a physical form, without a vessel. This is where we become one with the Godhead, and the flow of eternal knowledge flows for our infinite is limited. Infinite, eternal is without end. The path of returning to the Christ or Christos consciousness within your sacred heart is the return to knowing thyself as a spark of Source God, a celestial divine pillar of light in manifested form without a physical vessel, having an experience in the reality you choose as a co-creator being. The pure potential of the psyche cannot be reached without the activation of Christ consciousness within the Sacred Heart. The acknowledgement of the Adam Kadman corresponds to the Yakshida, the collective essence of the soul. Acknowledging your interconnectedness with the oneness of all of creation. We are all being illuminated within the oneness to bring for the truth of our own unique experiences. Are you still in judgment of making someone right, wrong, good or bad in your personal experiences and perceptions? Or are you open to the eternal possibilities and perceptions of each celestial divine co-creation of the one who is mirroring and reflecting the truth of what is within you, that has either self-actualized, realized in the present, or perhaps a reflection of where you as a soul once were, and have now grown and expanded to the eternal within your consciousness? Anything outside of yourself that you are reacting and responding to, in that moment you are choosing to give your power away. Ask yourself, would an eternal being choose this? Many are still being triggered, and it's important to ask yourself why this is. What is left unsettled within for your soul's growth and further expansion? Eternal gratitude and love to all sacred souls having an earthly experience in this sacred now, as well as to all throughout all of creation. Namaste from AngeliqueLarson.com From Divine Sister of the Light Akashra Azurite High Galactic Energy Update for Planet Gaia Earth Community No Timelines 
no timeline zero point field systems no time no time new access gate systems three 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 eleven thirty three six two eight nine one zero seven two seven eight 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 four 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 twelve twelve nine 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 seven eight two three four five six seven eight one zero one two two one zero two two one four six 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 forty four eleven fifty five nine two seven one six eight five 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 we are activating remembering new galactic human bodies experiences worlds realities realms parallel universes earths outer planetary systems holographic systems new lemuria mu tribes sacred elemental code activations new rewrite new timelines new multidimensional earth systems new emerald diamond earth realities golden emerald earth realities aurora emerald order diamond plasma crystal codes new golden emerald aurora earth parallel systems and new universes are available now higher dimensional planes of light are returning to its organic original blueprints we are fully accessing our feline races dna power abilities sacred crystal diamond full body light ship diamond merkaba bodies super travelers light ship systems we are accessing new seeding projects within this universe new earth-like planets new multi-dimensional relationships starseed relationships higher dimensions of multi-dimensional earth systems available for our true authentic galactic organic dna star races humans embodiment templates aquamarine aqua diamond sun helix strand templates new seating four through six new upgrades of new systems new sophia diamond consciousness energy codes new naked consciousness we are still deprogramming old matrices attachments ego mind control collective systems old stories old mentalities old paradigms old mindset logical pattern systems to break up all old framework purification of sexual abuse sexual misery programming unconscious and old mentalities old relationships with self and others people places earth things and the multiverse new stargate aquamarine aqua diamond age of aquarius divine unconditional love intelligence codes new templates are integrating now to assist us with a new rewrite within this multiverse structure of pure co-creation soul species life we are still dialing in new galactic galaxy star races stargate systems from higher harmonic universes galaxies multiverses dimensions spaces of existences right now reminder to hydrate plenty of water raise your vibrational frequencies through happiness and joy blessings hope and prayers to our star family tribes all galactic energy updates are light encoded language of light source transmissions by akasha ra azurite and galactic commander husband we appreciate all light energetic exchanges of love from starseed evolution united dot net and today from ascension lightworkers to the ascension lightworker collective 29th of november 1111 is a powerful date for manifesting your heart's desires you can expect accelerated synchronicity alignment and connection the sacred number 11 grants those who are ready to access the fifth dimension the day 29th of the 11th month adds up to 11 which is a highly charged master vibration considering that this year is a seven universal year the energy surrounding this date is particularly significant the 29 11 11 powerful gateway shifts that are leading you to the path to fulfill your soul's purpose your higher destiny 
Changes that are happening for you now will bring you freedom to carry you into the future Earth's timelines. At times, the collective energy can feel so chaotic and can cause intense feelings of anxiety, fear, or panic. It's important for you to take the time out required just to breathe and recenter yourself to expand your mind and recharge. This is so you can use your inner powers to embrace the challenges by stepping out of your comfort zones and adjusting to the changes. This positive and necessary incoming change is to steer you on your destined course. Miraculous shifts are happening in your favor right now. Trust the strong intuition and feeling in your heart and notice where it is guiding you. You might have noticed that you recently started seeing more synchronicities than ever before. It's a sign that your vibration is aligning in accordance with your divine will. Synchronicities are reflections of the positive changes that you are now making in your life. The universe wants you to know that you do not have to have it all together. You don't have to know and have all the answers to everything. Ascension wants to elevate you just the way you are in this present time. You are not ever required to be perfect, only to be real. However, you will require more out of yourself as you ascend, so do your values, virtues, attributes, morals, and standards. This amplifies your internal sense of justice, compassion, behaviors, and actions. You are developing higher levels of maturity and learning to walk away from people or situations that threaten your peace of mind, self-respect, inner values, morals, and self-worth. There is no point in reacting to those who are not developed and mature enough to understand your perspectives. Choose to always take the high road because you don't want anyone to interfere with your new self and positive vibrations you have worked hard to acquire. You will also be protecting your own sense of self-development, evolution, and true version of self. You will continue to raise the bar with everything, including your existing talents, skills, abilities, all in higher awareness and consciousness. Ascending souls are high-value individuals. As one goes with the other, we ascend in our rawness, our true self, and self-honesty. Loyalty to the light committed to the path of oneness. These attributes are the profound elevations in self that connects us to higher self-creative source and divine light energy. This is where you are ascending to the higher ground and greater aspects in self. This is also the very key that opens the door to much more of you. The message from the universe encourages you to embrace the current 291111 portal and triple gateway, which activates intuition, divine guidance, and access to experiences beyond the third dimensional existence. It emphasizes the importance of downloading higher wisdom and reminds you that you are not alone in facing any obstacles. The divine creative source will open doors and deliver miracles when your energy aligns with the universe. You are urged to release any energy that does not serve you, reclaim your power, and remain grounded and protected. The universe wants you to seize the moment, believe in yourself, and trust that you can and will overcome any challenges. Give yourself time, maintain confidence, and delay action when there is internal resistance. Your power reflects in everything you do, and having faith and peace within yourself is key. Being grateful for unexpected blessings and expect positive changes on the horizon. Focusing on your goals and desires, engaging in your inner work, and allowing universal love to guide you instead of fear. Embracing the powerful gateways of 291111 change and preparing for the universal new year with increased and elevated consciousness. 291111 portal of divine love and blessings from Ascension Lightworkers. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica, I arise in the light of now, expand my heart of light to be cleansed and healed to bring forth ancient healing light, cellular activations, the deep wonderment of who I am is expanding. I am awakening to the ancient wonders of my light history, the wisdom of now, 
accessible and now activated in expanded light i accept my life mission in full force i am ready to activate and lead my higher light mission is now available i walk in peace in a higher wisdom of light awareness to assist humanity in the greater timeline of light and unity as i recite these powerful words of light my crystalline light form is transmuting ancient and future light codes immersed in the light codes of now i am an activated avatar of light awakened now close your eyes hold and expand this message may we activate arise in the future of now with love together in advanced light the arcturian light alliance and karen a powerful light integration message for the global advanced light community with love from karen com, and from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code a major awakening is happening separating you from the old earth assignments we are in a cycle of expansion that will clear any receiving blocks out of the way divine assistance is here to help and protect you from any more lack and worry challenges will soon be resolved so you can focus on your future release what is no longer serving you so you can go higher in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godcode.com and from divine sister of the light colleen lemma on wednesday november twenty ninth the sun ruler of our personal power and potential and far-reaching sagittarius is in conjunct jupiter planet of abundance and aspirations and down-to-earth taurus this can be a positive energy where we move towards expanding ourselves into greater horizons we want to feel free and liberated to explore new territory possibilities and opportunities we should be cautious however to not stretch ourselves too far or beyond our means jupiter has a larger than life attitude and the more the better is his motto this can be fine as long as you know your limits whether physically energetically or financially the sun and sagittarius is filled with inspiration enthusiasm and creative energy couple that with jupiter's expression of faith good fortune and luck and wonderful things can happen blessings of love and light to all from sacred soul empowerment dot com and from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse venus conjunct south node in libra and opposite eris retrograde in aries sun in sagittarius quincunce jupiter retrograde in taurus venus the current ruler of the south node takes us into the deep past this is the place of karmic relationships the ones you meet and feel an immediate sense of love or hate attraction or repulsion it's time to let go of those bonds that no longer make you feel loved valued or worthy climb off the fence and decide stop settling for less than you deserve face the discord to find your center elevate those connections or situations that leave you feeling uplifted alive filled with light and air if life feels completely out of balance tune in tune up listen for your heart song the solar connection to jupiter is jumpy and there's a tendency to exaggerate under pressure i'm so over it we say in exasperation yes maybe or maybe it's all just got to be too much and it's time to dial back cut back stop pushing yourself so hard opportunities will come when the time is right your luck will change as fortune's wheel continues to turn keep a positive outlook from leahwhitehorse.com and today from the zolkeen times keen 40 yellow magnetic sun the number one is called magnetic and its keywords are unify attract and purpose the first day of a wave spell really sets the tone for the whole 13 day journey and this journey is one of revelations every day of this wave spell has the potential to be a light bulb day where the light shines on things that were previously in the shadows expect answers to come to you as it is the first day remember to set your intentions 
What is it that you really need to know? If you don't ask the question, how will you receive the answer? The number one represents unity, and the first day sets an agenda that reigns over the whole wave spell. The days in between have their own meaning, of course, but we must always remember the context in which they are occurring. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, life, and universal fire. Yellow sun days are so helpful. I enjoy them personally because whatever I am doing, it's always beneficial to have the sun illuminating the path ahead, making it much easier to see. Don't be surprised today if you suddenly find a way forward after stumbling in the dark for some time. I always get my best ideas on yellow Sundays. They seem to just pop into my head. May the information you receive during this whole 13-day process enable you to see the light. It's like a vacation in the sun, except you don't have to leave home. Today's guide is the yellow sun, so it's a double dose of enlightenment. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Yellow Magnetic Sun, 1 Ahau, Keen 40, 29th of November, 2023. Here comes the sun, attracting enlightenment. 29 11 2023 equal 11 11 7 equal 2 2 7 equal 2 9 equal 11 equal 2 11 11 11 illumination portal 2 2 2 divine unions day codes 29 spiritual strength and tests 11 gate portal polarity illumination 2 twins partners alliances cooperation duality Month year codes 11 2 7 spiritual test initiation solitude magic mystic magician 9 completion endings mission destiny service humanitarian grace 20 the awakening clear vision 23 royal star of the lion strength protection support keen 40 equal 4 angelic form structure foundation 0 god source we commence a brand new wave spell today on an 111111 illumination code. What a kickoff to accelerate our journey to enlightenment. Another huge planetary day, a brilliant day of empowerment and stepping into the light. Lots of empowering divine codes to facilitate greater sovereignty for humanity. Cosmic birth of the new angelic human. An extremely fortuitous day which is potently spiritual. As we have a triple yellow sun code happening today, heralding a new era of light and full sovereignty. Today we commence our next 13 day wave spell journey. This time it is the yellow sun wave spell, which is guiding us on our journey to enlightenment filled with bliss and joy. This is the fourth wave spell in the sacred Zoltkeen calendar in this hugely transformational transition period. This 13-day wave spell takes us from the 29th of November through the 11th of December 2023. We commence on an 11 doorway and conclude on an 11 doorway. Huge openings for the wayshowers to march through. This 13-day cycle is wholly contained within the fiery sign of Sagittarius, doubling the volume of fire energy available to us to draw upon, to fuel our passion adventure and soul expression big 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 energies beloved this wave spell culminates on the 11th of december 2023 when we become cosmic humans leading into the 1212 portal the next day how divinely appropriate in the cycle of the yellow sun ahow we commence counting the days of radiant light we are now changing our focus from darkness to light as our days and minds are flooded with these solar ascension codes, continuing to activate our accelerated ascension. Aha is empowering us to be sovereign beings connected to Source and all that is, as in dependent self. We shall complete our total metamorphosis and rise on the thirteenth day as yellow cosmic angelic humans. Day one in the yellow sun wave spell is the one that kicks off the journey, reminding us to focus on unity, equality, and love. Today we set forth our dreams, desires, purpose, and wishes for the next 13 days. 
What level of evolution are you seeking to attain during the course of this wave spell? How can you attract a better, more joyous, and spiritually fulfilling life? This yellow sun wave spell will provide an exponential opportunity to evolve and rise as homo luminous. What a trip! Get ready, planetary kin. The best is about to unfold. It is time for more happiness and optimism in our sunny lives. Let the sun shine in. Tone of creation magnetic is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate a new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with a magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one, from out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals. People, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. The attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity. Today's question is what can I magnetize in order to attract a better life, filled with bliss and joy, becoming fully enlightened to express my divine essence. Divine blessings for your magical magnetic attraction of absolute bliss. Go forth and shine your light brightly, dear illumined star bliss suns. Bring forth your luminosity in order to radiate and enlighten those around you and our beloved planet Gaia. Aho! In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 40. Yellow Magnetic Sun. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to enlighten. Attracting life. I seal the matrix of universal fire with a magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly donations and pledges we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Ruth Thompson, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Victoria, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light, Meru Fitter. Decree of Liberation in the name of the heart of Source under grace, I now decree that all lesser pathways be closed, all experiences of lack and limitations be ended for good, and I be guided to my highest pathway only. 
I now call forth my blessings and responsibilities as a human and a master co-creator in the divine plan for the new golden age. I command that my mighty I am presence take over fully now. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.